Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. So, transcend. Oh, let's find out. Yeah, that's fine. So this game is in permanent early access and it's free, and we'll find out how good or bad that is in a bit. Uh, let's go with my color. Nice blue, as you, if you will. Prologue. Skip. Uh, I'm just gonna not do that for now. One day a spirit is born, or when it leaves the physical world for the first time, it makes a voyage to the spirit world. This voyage is what we call transcendence. Your first stop in this voyage is me. My name is Haku. I am the spirit of knowledge and wisdom. I serve two purposes with two spirits like yourself. One is to tell them what I just told you, and two, to give you a name. Before I can do so, you must first see Luna and Gaia. This is a slow game though, just keep that in mind. <coughs> Prologue. I sense an arrogant and courageous spirit within you. You hold the presence of a spirit warrior. Spirit warriors are powerful spirits from my spirit peace. I will trust you with like this spirit beast, so you might train with the children. And I will grant you the body of a powerful warrior race, a human warrior. Its strength and agility is bound only by the wonder of your spirit, and I guess physical limits as well. May it help you overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Your spirit animal. It's gonna go with the right, I don't care. Fuck it. I don't know what they do, you go play this fucking game yourself. It's free anyway. Chapter 1 The Bridge of Trials. Welcome to your number of body hero. I know this is all happening very fast and naturally it will come. It takes some getting used to. First you will need to adjust your eyesight. Press control for scroll to adjust your sight. We good. I think you could do that anyway. As a better I'm not sure if you know this, but I found a name for you. Hero. This name I give you the power to speak for yourself. Go ahead, what is your first question? I know you back a bit. Okay, let's see what we can ask. Why did you choose hero? What happens now? Or just silence? Uh, usually the first question I ask, and the answer is always so disappointing. The truth is, there is no particular reason it should seem right. It is not my job to give you a name and purpose, but yours. Well, I mean, it is your job to give me a name, but alright, sure. What happens now? Now, you will learn how to use your new body. Press the view ESD and try to move. You can also run 
Enter combat. Not yet, though. Not a thing yet. I think inventory. I do have an inventory, so that's cool. So, bit of a guided tour around my configuration. And there it is. Okay. Let's go. Isn't different. Ah, uh, you are correct. You will find that some spirits are capable of having many different forms. Some of us are not limited to one physical body. In my case, my spirit will appear how you picture me. Like a big green fucking owl. Bridge of trials, no energy. <laughs> right. Yes, all spirits must go through a set of challenges and trials in order to prove themselves. You were chosen to be a spirit warrior. Your challenges will determine if you truly are one. This is also where I must leave you. Once you set foot on this bridge, your spirit gate will open and lead you to your sage. I'm not expecting you. Farewell, hero. I cannot move. But I can dance. Yeah, I know. Run, I go. Hmm. All right. Thanks, game. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Yon Temple. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, no. Three steps, that's fine. Oh. What was that? It's a thing! Pelanur! Go ahead, I can see your mind is puzzled, but choose your words carefully. Uh, where am I? What happened? You are in a small monastery somewhere between the spirit world and the physical world. In other words, you are neither here nor there, but in limbo. This is what happened back there. Closing breaths. Closing quote. All right. Who are you? My name is Belanor. I am your spirit sage. My purpose is your sage is to offer your passage across the bridge of trials. I, I just crossed that. Alright. To do this, I will train you in all warrior arts. You will challenge you in every conceivable way, and I will mold you into the perfect warrior, or you will die trying. With that said, I am sure you have many questions and a lot on your mind. But I am not a ghoul, I do not have all the answers. I do not have all day to sit on a chat. We have a lot to do and there's something waiting for us. Someone. Okay, well, let's get to it then. Chapter 2. Four Brothers. <laughs> That was a nice short chapter. Unit training grounds.
Oh, I'm gonna grab this real quick. And I guess this one as well. Welcome, hero! This is Apu! You are each other's war brother. All the warrior spirits are born with a war brother. Together you will train, you will grow, and you will learn everything there is to know about war and combat. Most importantly, you will learn what it means to be a warrior. By fighting one another, you will notice that you'll only grow as strong as your opponent. Competition is an important source of power for a warrior. Your rifle will determine your ceiling of that power. I encourage you to push each other beyond all conceivable limits. You will fight with no remorse, no fear, and no sympathy. You will see one another as an obstacle to overcome, and nothing more. I must remember, on your journey to become a spirit warrior, only the strongest will remain. With that said, many years of training lie ahead of us. It will be a long, arduous road. One that begins immediately. What is life? What is this life? What is my life? What is whatever? Being at the right place, at the right time, is an essential law in combat. You can outpredict and outmaneuver their opponent will hold the advantage in battle. This is where you two will begin. Our first exercise is quite simple. I have passed an ability to each of you. Apu will use his new ability, Spirit Spare, to try and hit Hero, who will do his best to avoid getting hit. Hero, inside your inventory, you will find an ability to go dash. If used correctly, it can turn a bad situation into an opportunity. You will need to equip this ability. Press I button to open your inventory. Which I put here, and here, and here. So, you know, it should be fine. Here it is, dash. It's equipped. I equip these. Oh. Well, I guess they're gone. That's gone now. All right. To use the quick abilities, you have to be in combat mode. Press space button to trigger combat mode. The rest you can figure out on your own. Enough lecturing. Let's begin. That's important. It's also weird, and I don't know why it's even a thing. Right. Thou shall spear until the time runs out. Just went on for a little bit longer than it needed to. Whatever, only six times. Alright, that's not too bad. Hero was hit six times. Your sent to be evenly matched. What? You wouldn't mean evenly matched? Just begun. Okay. The second most important law in combat is adaptation. You have come all around. Let's see what outside her. I did yeah, sure. Don't just be yours. That's literally the exact same as single flip before. Battle. Hero, you are at 15 times in total. You did hero, hero. Let's see if this holds true once the rolls are reversed. Hero, it is now your turn to try and hit Apu. 
I have got a favorability spirit spear to your inventory. Equip it and let's begin. Maybe it does now. He's not very good at dodging this, so I'll just go kick his ass. Already I have best just score, so that's good. I've always said 70 times, you're adapting my hero again. I mean, already won, so whatever. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh, I don't know what that one's doing, but there we go. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-eight. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 7, 8, Eight, seven, okay. It was a little off at the end there for some reason. That's fine. Apo, you were hit 37 times in total. To a hero is 15. The score between you is 37 to 15. The hero is over there, so far. You will face each other one last round. This round is a combination of what you've learned. And we'll be no holding back. No more stations, no rules. Whoever has the most spear scored after this round wins the challenge. You think it'd be, you know, sleep, clean slate, but nope. We're just keeping the scores as they are. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. There's really no point in trying to dodge any of these. Eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three. 50, 51, 52, 53, it's like counting to a hundred or something. Five, Well, that's one short, but we'll do it. It'll do for now. The final score between you is Apu 68, Hero 28. Because Hero has waited less, he is the winner in this duel. Me. 1 to 0. I will keep track of the outcome between the two of you. This way, we will know who the dominant student is, and won't matter as such. You will now practice these lessons daily, until they become part of your very nature. When your body acts a danger on its own, you will have mastered these abilities. Now return. Do not snap. Leave to your ways each other. Do it well! Chapter 3 Sword and Shield. As Belenur instructed, Apu and Hero trained night and day. The environment Belenur provided for them accelerated and enhanced their recovery, needing little to no time for rest. Their efforts were entirely devoted to training and honing their abilities. Time passed, and inevitably, perhaps, they grew used to one another. They began to notice patterns where one showed weakness, the other exposed it. 
They became aware of their possessions, and with time, conquered their instincts. This sounds like a great game, huh? We're not doing that. We're just doing... Whatever. This exchange continued for many months until Hapu and Hiro had achieved a stalemate. Yes. Moment speed one, energy plus one. Cool. There it is. Can do that. Uh, this one's also here. So I can equip dash. I can't use it unless I'm actually in combat mode. So, Sepapu, you're awake. The day is here at last, my brother. Balanu has returned. We are ready to continue our training. Right. Let's not waste any more time. He's waiting for us. Let's go. And so I go, and he apparently does not. Right. Greetings, hero, Apu. Over the past eight months, I have watched you closely. You have grown stronger. You have had it done well, and you have learned a very lesson. To conquer yourself. Conquering your own instincts is much just the first step. Of come on self is a challenge you will face more than in any other. This may also prove to be the most difficult of all tasks. With that said, you are now ready for the next part of your training. The next lesson is knowing when to attack and when to defend. These are the best represented with the sword and the shield. Gives you a particular sword and shield. Equip them. All right. Uh. Yeah. Sword and shield. That's right, Bellow. And shield belonged to an ancient warrior race called Spartani. These ancient warriors were the first to master the art of attacking and defending, simultaneous events and defense. I will do my best to teach you this art. It's literally just, literally just a sword and a shield. They're not really that complicated. <laughs> Business and goes into the bad guy, you know. As Spartani believed in facing challenges head on. Experience has no equal. No amount of words or writing can properly describe what pain is until you feel it. In other words, there is no way to instruct you in combat until you experience it for yourself. So go on, fight! And fight we shall. Alright, combat mode. Guys, it's like one right up. Oh, oh my sword's just gone. All right. Well done, Apu. It seems combat comes natural to you. However, another hit. You could have taken Hero's life. Although I respect your resolve, taking it to others' life is forbidden. Take this. Take to the Serenus plan, hands it to you. Herbs and other similar items will be pivotal in a prolonged fight. To ensure success in battle, a warrior must not only be skilled, but well prepared. Spartani warrior code. 
You may use these herbs at any moment by opening your inventory and equipping them. In the heat of battle, however, this will not be so simple. To aid with this, Ms. Bartani wrote a code of combat that will explain the basic rules of combat. Pressing E button. And Zapu and he wrote a stone tablet of sorts. The Spartani Code of Combat has everything you will need to understand the basics of combat. Take our time going over it, and let's begin when you are ready. Wherever it is. Round one. Well, when I will begin the first three of three rounds, you will face each other. At the end of these three rounds, we will know who dominates the combat arts and rewards him a point for his challenge. With that out of the way, let's begin. Well, let's begin. One. Yo win this round, hero. Let's see how you fare in the next one. Lights, please. A true warrior must be ready for battle under any circumstance, and at all times. In this round, we will see who can use darkness and lack of vision to their advantage. It's, it's literally just the same fight, though. It's just a little darker. I don't know. Yeah, that was a cool fight. You probably didn't see it, but that's okay. Nothing much happened. I just kicked his ass. Well done, hero. The score is now 2-0. to zero. Get ready for the final round, which is just totally useless because you're already in the lead. Fuck this nerd up. Final round. Fight. No holding back. No fear. No weakness. Last round begin. Thing here. All right, take that and that. All right, loser. I am impressed with your skills in this challenge, Hero. Well done. The total score between you stands at Hero 2, Apu 0. The total score between you stands at Hero 2, Apu 0. Nice. Now that you've grasped the essentials of combat, it is my time to go. Once again. When your sword and shield become an extension of your body, and pain no longer hinders you, I will return.
Chapter 4 The Spartan Trial Once more Apu and Hero did as Belenor instructed, and trained night and day until they mastered the Spartan way. As expected, the time where their skills had reached an impasse king, except this time Belenor was nowhere to be found. The days turned into months, months into years, and still Belenor did not return. As the days passed, they grew exceedingly impatient, until one night... Doink. Should I say, yon? Life and energy increased by five. Nice. Thickness as well. Sup, Pooh? Oh boy. My pogger. We both knew this day would come, my brother. I understand now why he hasn't returned. This must be another one of Pelador's tests. Raise a weapon, hero. It is time we decide who is the strongest once and for all. I understand. Get ready to die, nerd. I knew you'd understand, hero. But tonight is not my night. Die, nerd. And well, that's the end of the game. That's just really all there is to it. So you'd think that these chapters thus far have amounted to something, but really we haven't left the tutorial. So chapters 5 through 7 coming soon. Or whenever that is, because it hasn't been touched in, in a good while. So this is the end of the game. Yeah. I guess I'll just touch, press one of these buttons, right? These have always been there. This is just straight up the close button, so...